Hello my friends, today is June 23. Our topic is you are measuring stick. My friends, are you really happy and content with your family relationship? Are you happy with your church where you are attending? Are you really struggling to understand your spouse although you lived for a few years and you are really disappointed because of that? Our devotion comes to us from Revelation chapter 11, verse 1. Then I was given a measuring stick, and I was told, Go and measure the temple of God and the altar, and count the number of worshippers. My brothers and sisters, draining, unsupportive, and difficult people are one of life's greatest challenges. In this post, I want to talk about how you can spot or stop and deal with the toxic people who came into your life. You deserve to have people in your life that you enjoy spending time with, that support you, and that love hanging out with. The question for today is, how can you understand you are a toxic person? Or how would you measure someone with whom you are living. I would like to suggest three ways. Number one, check their past history. My friends, before you are tired of your relationship, before you write off, before you feel disappointed, just check if they were mentally affected because of any incidents and family history. Perhaps you will be a great comforter to work with them in their mental bitterness. Number two, avoid playing in their reality. My friends, never take their reality easy. Never underestimate their hurts. It is just a scene for you, but it's their life. Don't even go near to those feelings and hurts. Everyone has their own time and situation to come out of it. Number three, have their shoes. My friends, whenever you are upset with them, just put yourself in their shoes. Feel empathy in order for them to feel you are one of them. My dear friends, are there anyone in your own family who are affected by such things? Don't worry, but lift them up in your prayers. Here is the hope for you today from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly God, thank you so much for your help. There may be somebody here being affected in their mental bitterness. Encourage them and motivate them, dear Lord, so that they will find peace in Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.